Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have an unboxing for you, an actual <laughs> box unboxing. And this one came in today. Today is the 12th of February, and I'm not sure when this video will go up, but um, I have a few on the way and this doesn't match any of those tracking numbers. So I'm a little confused. So we're just gonna start opening. The box is in good shape. I haven't actually felt all the way around, but I could feel a little bit of a dent, but not much, you know, nothing to, nothing to be worried about. It's a pink box. Who has pink boxes? I think I know what it is. I just, I just, it baffles me when the tracking numbers don't match because that tracking number was working. It's definitely from China. Get rid of that. There. Okay, so this is Orangality. This is the same box that the um, Laoji one came in. But as you can see, there's a little bit of denting happening, especially here. Uh, and they taped up this end of the box. Looks like they cut it, actually. Hang on, let's have a look. Bear with me. Okay, we're back. So let's see. Forgive the nails. Um, I used a speckle polish and I must have left it on too long because it won't come off. <laughs> Any tips on that? Well, by the time I upload this, it'd probably be way too late. But if you still see speckle on my nails, um, yeah, let's see. Ooh, this looks familiar. Okay, I think this is what I thought it was. So we have a, not a basic toolkit, but kind of basic. A MOSFA boat, a pink pen, some tweezers, a little tiny square of wax, and some baggies. And then, oh, oh dear. It's really stuck in there. Okay, let's pull the drills. There's the canvas. Yeah, it's what I thought it was. And more drills. Okay. So. This is the diamond painting. I'm going to take it out of the bag so you can see it. I ordered this as a custom because this is my favorite Van Gogh painting. It's called Ap Apricot Blossom, I think, Apricot. Wow, okay, there's 44 colors, holy cow. Let's have a look at the picture. So this is a 50 by 80 or 80 by 50. And I tried to find the best quality image that I could online. And I was looking for this specific color blue. So I'm going to have a look at the drills. And I'm very, very particular about this at the moment because of my attachment to this painting, which is why I went to Moon Crescent to get it done, which you probably saw in the title of this video. But anyway, um, so here I've got the symbol list. So we have letters and numbers and symbols. Just having a look. We'll look at the canvas here in a minute as well. Can you see that there are two different ink marks, check marks? Now those are, I don't know, I'm worried about them. This inventory is gonna take forever, guys. This is a huge painting. I actually have this um, in, I'll put a, a picture here. I have this picture in a print and I have had it with me for the last, oh, maybe 12 years. Uh, no less than that. Sorry. It must be 10, 10 or so. Hi, Luna. You want to come in to my unboxing? Thank you. So that's that. And the drills. Wow. Look at these colors. Okay. I see right off the bat that they've put them in a bag with a handwritten number. So they're definitely weighing the big quantities, which is really nice, actually. Is that what that is? 
Oh yeah. Okay. Well, not quite. Okay. Well, I'll figure it out. Anyway, let's look at the canvas because yeah. I'm so excited about this painting. Wow, it's huge. Okay, so the the legend is quite small, but not too small. Okay, so, you know, fingernail number. It isn't too hard to read, that's what I'm trying to say. This always makes me nervous. Okay, so there's two pieces of tape here. All right, I got it off. <laughs> Excuse me. It is wrapped around a foam roller. And okay, it's very, well, it's not very tight, but can see through it a little bit here. It looks great. I meant to mention that this is square, if you couldn't tell <laughs> already. It smells a bit plasticky. Wow, it just keeps going. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to take off the whole paper, actually. I may have to store this in the box because I don't have anywhere to put it except maybe hang it in a closet. But we'll have a look. Okay, so the adhesive does come over a little bit and I can see that it's about to start rivering. Hang on. And I wonder if it's, is it the process of unrolling that causes that? I don't know. This is what I normally do. I haven't had to do this in a while though. So there's a bit of a gap. Don't know if that means anything. Let's have a look at this side. We're kind of relaxing it a bit. I have all these fuzzies stuck to me because of the nail polish. Anyway, so if you haven't looked at it already, I had another video about how to cut the glue, the excess glue on the edges here. I got the idea from Ramblin' Rose and Diamond Painting which was a fantastic idea. I don't know why I couldn't think of it myself, but um, basically just use an X-Acto knife. Wow, okay. That's gonna look fabulous. Sorry, I know I've got the flash on, so you get all the glare. Okay. That's actually really nice. It's very clear. I just got my scarf stuck to it. <laughs> it was bound to happen one of these days, right? So it looks like the glue is fine. Like even if there are like bubbles and stuff, it's not the end of the world, but it is missing a little bit of glue here where they didn't lay the paper close to each other. So that's kind of a bummer. But easily fixed. If you have a gap and it is a big gap and it's causing your drills not to lay down, you can always use other glues such as PVA or Elmer's, whatever you want to call it. It is very big. In fact, it's exactly the same size as the one that's in my living room, which actually, you know what? I'm going to go just show you while I let that relax. So here we are. This is my print of Van Gogh's <laughs> right, so here's my print of Van Gogh's Apricot Blossom. So if you can see, it's got this major crease in it. There's my hand in comparison. It's also a 50 by 80. In fact, I think the frame itself is a 50 by 80. So that is what it should look like in person. Okay, in the effort of trying to show you the symbols without uh, the flash. I've just turned it off. There's quite a bit of excess. I need to lay this flat. There's quite a bit of excess glue on this painting in general. 
that I'll have to cut off. But the palette, see the color palette is very simple. It's all very similar kind of um, shades, if you know what I mean. Well, you're not going to be able to see it now. But if you can see from here, it's actually, it's so pretty. It's really pretty. I'm so excited. This is like the last diamond painting that I'm ordering for a while. I have one that's on the way, I think. Um, and then I might get one from Dreamer Designs, but this is it. In fact, I might wait on Dreamer Designs. I'm not sure. But here we go. I hope you can see that. It is really clear, even in the dark areas. It is quite clear. So I'm going to put it down before I ruin it. Be very careful. Oh god. <laughs> Why am I wearing a scarf? See so, ya. Yeah, that is all I'm going to undo because I don't trust myself. And I hope you understand. Just flatten her out like that. Very good. So, this took it it was ordered on the 16th of January. And it was shipped on the 21st, and then it arrived here on the 12th. So I will put how many days that is because I can't do math. But that's quite reasonable. Um, I'm going to do inventory and chat a little bit. So if you don't like inventory, see, I'm just putting it back in the box like this. If you don't like inventory, then you might want to just like skip to the end to figure out if I have everything that I need. Because <laughs> I never do inventory on screen, but I feel like chatting. So if you've never done inventory before and you've never watched one of my videos that does the hyper lapse speed, uh, then you may want to watch this just for a few minutes for tips and tricks. So first thing, you need your inventory sheet. If you don't have an inventory sheet, you need the side of the canvas that has all the DMC numbers or the numbers that they give you. So that could be the bag number or the color number, um, or it could be a made up number. But basically, if you want to make a photocopy, you could do that. If you don't, you don't. So I'm just gonna dump those out and pray that they are not gonna spill or be broken. What I do is I, <laughs> my husband's playing with my dog. Um, what I do is I get a really big Ziploc, which I have right down here somewhere. Yep. So, this is a three liter, which I think is nearly a gallon size in US. And I will use this to store the drills, especially for these huge projects. Okay, we don't need the bag for a while. You can do it any which way you want. Some people lay out all of the beads in numerical order and then count how many they have if they don't have an inventory sheet. If you have an inventory sheet, it's very easy because all you really need to do is find, like pick up one, one bag. Here's a single bag. And this one is number 471. I don't know if you can see it on the bag there. And you would go on your list. You look for DMC 471 and it says, I need one bag, which in total, I need 184 of these drills and for this company, this is actually about 200 or 220, something like that. So that's plenty. They've given me some extra and I can you know, pop this in the bag if I want to. So I am really quick, just going to put them in number order because I like the way it looks and I'll be right back. 
Okay, everybody, so this is it. <laughs> um, I realize that this is probably the wrong time to film this video now. Um, it's twilight, but I gave up on the idea of putting them all in complete order because it's just a lot of colors. I mean, 44 is quite a lot, <laughs> but I did put them in the shades that they came in. So here are some shades together. Uh, these are, as you can see, 38, 44, 45, and 46. They're all shades, very beautiful colors of blue. We also have really beautiful shades of green as well. And then we have, in between, we have the greenery shades, which are grays and greens. And we have a little bit of pink and white for the blossoms. And overall, I'm really, really happy with the colors. And even if we just pick a random color, have a look into, sorry, have a look into these packs. And I'm aware that it's a little difficult to see with the shine of the flash. But I'm looking it over and just making sure that I don't see any tags, sorry, because of what happened with my hula can. And no, I don't see any nubs or anything like that. Yeah, so they're good. They're really good. Wow. Um, another thing to note, there is not a single 310 in this painting. Uh, the colors with the most drills are 3846. This one is packed. It has over almost 11,000 beads in there, which it probably does have 11,000 actually. Um, so this is our predominant color, followed by 78.95. Yeah, I think that's it. That is 38.45, followed by 38.44. These are the predominant colors. Gorgeous blues. Obviously, we have these greens in the background as well that are also the primary colors. But wow, this is going to be gorgeous. So now I'm just going to check off the ones I have and I will do a few on screen so that you can see that. So you need a pencil or a pen and a chair, but it is just as simple as taking your color, being like, oh, that's 3844. So you go on your sheet here and you say, I need 36 bags. Is this 36 bags? Well, I don't know. So I am gonna put a check mark because I have it, and that's important. Just making sure that's sealed. And then, if you want, you can stick it into the old bag. And you just continue doing that until you are finished going through all your colors. And fingers crossed, I have all of my colors. So I'm just gonna hyperspeed for a second. Here we have five bags of 3866. So I go on my chart, 3866, and there's five, the number five next to it. And then it says 849. That's how many drills I need. If there's two, four, six, eight, ten, one thousand in these, then I know I have enough. As long as they aren't too, we call it junky or trashy. 3815. 3815, it says four. I'll write three on the side because it could be floating around in here somewhere. If you're having a hard time actually reading the bags, it's a good idea to put it off to the side until the end, and then you can use the process of elimination to determine which number it is. This is weird because they're not connected. 9, 15, we need 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
11, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It's odd. I wonder why they're all disconnected. <laughs> but there's enough. Aha! There's my other 3815. Check that out. That's why it's separate, because the bag got ripped off prematurely. Four. Cool. Perfect. Okay. So I'm just looking over this and indeed I have all of the colors and I have an extra bag of 3865, which is great. So let's see. I'll stand up. So here I have the bag of colors. They look amazing. If you want a blue painting, I would highly recommend blue and green and teal. If you love those colors, I would definitely recommend getting this painting. So I really, really enjoy this image and I'm looking forward to having a diamond painting version of it in my home. Uh, if I didn't mention it but before, this custom, a 80 by 50 custom, cost me just under 32 euro with free shipping and it took just under a month to get to me. So I'm really happy with it. I really wish I could figure out what the adhesive situation is with the rivers and things like that because I can see them starting to happen and I don't know what I can do to prevent it. So if anybody has any suggestions on that, please let me know in the comments down below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I really appreciate everyone that watches the channel. And please click like if you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you all have a really great week and I'll see you in the next one. Take care everybody.